and his opponents. First, from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 232 pounds, D D G. Guys, this sold-out arena is buzzing right now in anticipation of this triple threat match. Yeah, and I'm willing to bet the concession stands are on empty right now. Nobody wants to miss even a second of this match. England, weighing in at 261 pounds, the King, Troy Adams. Ladies and gentlemen, the atmosphere inside this arena right now is absolutely unreal. This crowd cannot wait to get to this triple threat match. And they haven't sat down yet, Michael. I'm willing to bet they'll be on their feet the entire match. Here we go as this triple threat match gets underway. Drop kick delivered with precision. The superstar always needs to be ready to be attacked by both opponents in a triple threat match. Circumstances create interesting alliances and the numbers game can become your worst enemy in a hurry when you're competing against two other opponents. No matter how you look at it, it's a situation you don't want to be in, but you must prepare for it. A competitor must be ready for the possibility that they'll fall victim to a two-on-one attack on a triple threat match. A great example of that was the triple threat match on SmackDown Live between AJ Styles, Dolph Ziggler, and Baron Corbin. No one thought that Ziggler and Styles would work together to perform a double dive off the barricade that put Corbin through the Spanish announce table. And that's exactly what a superstar always needs to have in the back of their mind. That at some point, their two opponents will most likely join together and take them out. It's one of many occupational hazards that come with competing in a triple threat match. And there's a vicious slam. Boom, what a slam. Oh my God, I can't believe it. When this guy's on, look out. In the big boot lands. Big move coming. 
coming. Wait for it. One move after the other. It's devastating. This one is over. Dug down deep and gets the shoulder up. Wow, I am impressed. Uh, I think this is the beginning of the end. Big move coming. Wait for it. DDT! Uh, I think this is the beginning of the end. We've seen this before. This one's over, guys. Well, if it didn't work the first... Into the quick cover. Gets the shoulder up. Wow. What's it going to take? Wow, I thought this was over. And there it is again. The triple threat match for the Raw Women's Championship was another example of the incredible competition between the female superstars of WWE. Charlotte was physically dominant in fighting off the challenges of Bailey and Sasha Banks. At one point, the Queen even landed a moonsault on both their opponents at the same time. But the boss and Bailey put it all on the line and kept fighting. There were several near pinfalls during this battle, but in the end, as it should be, the Queen exhibited her genetic superiority by fighting off both her challengers. After drilling Bailey with a boot to the face, the Queen pinned the hugger and retained her Raw Women's Championship. Some superstars who've competed in a triple threat match feel it's a good idea to have both a finishing move that brings you to a pinfall attempt on your opponent and a submission move that can make your opponent tap out. Given the chaotic and unpredictable nature of a triple threat, that sounds like a good plan to me. Nice oh, time. There it is. Byron, before you mention the strategy some superstars have implemented for competing in a triple threat match, and that includes having a finishing maneuver to put someone away for the 1-2-3 and a submission to make them tap out. There are many superstars in WWE who can do just that, which makes them even more dangerous to opponents. The way I look at it is you can never have enough weapons at your disposal. Schoolboy from behind rolls through. There he needs! Now, and here's a cover! And an early kick out in this unusual matchup. Not yet. It's always important to get off to a strong start in a match. It's even more important to do that in a triple threat match, given that you're going up against two opponents at the same time. Add to that the no disqualification stipulation, and there's little to no room for error. One mistake, and it can cost you a lot more than winning the match. Byron, you spoke about this before. A competitor must do everything they can do to start things off on the right foot in a triple threat match. One way to do that is to target one of your opponents and go after them as soon as the bell rings. You're battling two opponents at the same time, so it's hunt or be hunted. And that's what I like, Michael. It's survival of the fittest in that ring. In a triple threat, a superstar can't waste time feeling opponents out, getting warmed up, or easing their way into the match. You have to go at it as soon as the match begins. Going to the well again. What great action we've had in this match. He's making a statement here with this attack. I don't know how much more of this he can take. And things look bleak right now. This, that's how you move up the ladder here in WWE. Nice. Shut it down. Just an unforgiving slam. Victory is on the horizon. Face Buster. Seems like these guys are letting out a lot of pent-up frustration tonight. Uh-oh. I'm afraid to think what's going to happen next. Things went from bad to worse.
Looks to me like the gas tank is at about halfway. You want to make sure that this one's going to leave a mark, guys. What a comeback. And a pin attempt. One, two, three. And the triple threat is over. This place is going nuts.